We present TTNet, Deep Neural Network for Table, Tennis, Spatial and Temporal Analysis. Deep learning-based computer vision approaches have recently started to play an important role in sports analytics. There is a broad scope of tasks to address, tracking, 3D pose estimation, event spotting, as well as many others. Interesting object for deep learning applications is Table Tennis with its great variety of visual data to be analyzed. However, there are many challenges associated with this task high pace of the game, small ball size, and many ball-like objects. Full analysis of table tennis requires two types of information to be gathered. Temporal information, providing data about in-game events like ball bounces and net hits, and spatial information about table and scoreboard positions, ball coordinates, and person masks for correct application of game rules by auto-referee system. Testnet works in the following manner. The downscaled input is processed by the core backbone, which is style feature extractor, which outputs rough ball coordinates due to low resolution. Therefore, the second stage of the ball detection is introduced. It works in the same manner, but utilizes frame from the original input cropped around the prediction of the first detector. Thus, the final ball detection is performed with a special resolution of the original video. In the same time, feature maps from the first encoder are used in the decoder semantic segmentation branch. And finally, features from the global and the local stages are combined for the event spotting branch. Now let's consider details of every branch. The ball localization is performed by predicting its center on the last frame in the input stack. The target values are composed of two vectors produced by a normal distribution fitted around the ball center coordinate on the whole frame and in the local area around the ball. Semantic segmentation branch uses feature maps from the global stage of feature extractor. It predicts human, table, and scoreboard masks on the last frame on the input stack. The last task of the multitask approach is event spotting. It utilizes concatenated feature maps from both global and local detectors. Such architecture allows gradient flow through both feature extractors during the joint training process. The neural network feed is 9 consequent frames from 120 FPS input video. Therefore, only fast events like ball bounces and net touches are considered. Since we need full temporal information about ball trajectory to spot events, we predict event probabilities for the middle frame in the stack. It may be impossible to pick the particular frame with the event of interest due to high ball speed. That is why event targets were smoothed with the sign function. A training sample is represented as a sequence of 25 video frames with a manually labeled event in the middle. The input tensors for the training were randomly subsampled as a 9 consequent frames with event spot and target for the middle one and semantic masks and the ball position for the last frame in a sample. The event frames were manually labeled whereas the ball target positions and semantic masks were produced by an auto-labeling system. It comprises individual neural networks, which are similar to corresponding TTNet branches, and were trained with a manually labeled subset of frames. The ball detection is trained with a cross-entropy loss function, calculated for x and y vectors independently and sum up on both scales. As the event button is treated as a classification problem, it was trained with a weighted cross entropy loss function. The semantic segmentation is trained with a smooth dice score and a binary cross entropy loss. An approach that incorporates the relative weights of the losses adaptively and treats them as trainable parameters was adopted to aggregate the losses. Due to lack of open datasets combining spatial and temporal data, we used our own dataset for all experiments and training, which will be introduced later. The first object of interest is feature extractor. Because of the main focus on real-time applications, it was designed to be fast, lightweight, yet powerful. We examined ResNet 18 architecture as a potential replacement, taking into account its inference time and proven effectiveness of the general ResNet architecture in many deployment tasks. As presented in the table, TTNet encoder is outperforming ResNet 18, having more promising results. Also, we examined the width of the input tensor, varying from 1 to 9 frames. As you can see on the load table, in case of event spotting metrics, 9 frames was the most beneficial choice, without drastic decrease in ball-related metrics. We also studied our loss function choice and compared it with simple summation of all components 
manual balancing and our proposed auto balancing technique. As you can see, auto balancing was the most beneficial choice for the most metrics. To sum up, we introduced a lightweight multitask architecture TTNet, which allows real time data extraction from high frame rate videos, demonstrates 97% accuracy in event spotting task on the presented data has 2 pixel root man squared error in ball detection with 97.5% accuracy of detection. Network output information, supplemented with a surf event spotting algorithm, enables complete auto referee solution for table tennis. Due to the absence of multitask datasets combining temporal and spatial data, we also introduced OpenTT Games dataset. It includes Full HD 120 FPS videos of table tennis with annotations of events, ball coordinates and segmentation masks.